Okay, hi again once start again. Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Grand Dad's Kitchen, yeah? Now we have some chicken wings here. We've cleaned up, washed it up. This container is what it comes in. This container I've left it there because I wanted to advise you. Yeah, a little tip. So when you buy these containers, like you have it in here now, why throw it out and then get something else to season your meat in? Season your meat in the same container, yeah? And if you have a container that you're um, gonna put in the oven, chicken, season it in the container. There you go. So I'm gonna chop up my peppers. You see, I've got a variety of peppers here. These are all sweet peppers, by the way, none of them hot. And here we have a sweet potato, two potato, half a carrot. Might get some more carrot put with that. There's an onion knocking around somewhere. I'll find it. That's got to go in there. Over here we have some flour. We're going to make what we call spinners, which are little small dumplings and throw it all. We're doing this. Salt, pepper, um, jerk, seasoning. Yeah. You see scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah. When you buy scotch bonnet pepper, you don't have to buy the fresh scotch bonnet pepper because you get a holy bite for nothing. Yeah. And you're just gonna throw it away because it don't last, yeah? So here we have our scotch bonnet. This is how we do it, yeah? Scotch bonnet, you can, um, say for example, if you've never had it before, get yourself a big glass, <laughs> get some ice, yeah? Taste it. Little bit on your finger. It's gonna, it's hot, it's hot, but it's not life-threatening hot, yeah? Oh, sorry, some lemon juice in the background there, yeah? So we're gonna pour that all together. I'll get back to the scotch bonnet next time. Try it yeah, a little bit at a time. You see, like all this now, this is even better. When you cook your food, you put a little bit on it and you taste it. Yeah, then you can know if you can manage it. So the next time you have cooked now, you can put it in the food. You understand? Anyway, let's move forward. So I'm going to get the rest of my goodies together, peel my potatoes, cut them up, get my onion wherever it run off to be able to find it. It can't hide. It has to go in it. Without it, don't bother with it. So we have to find it on the end. We'll soon come. Okay, here we go. I've used my uh, pepper. Um, I haven't used my jerk seasoning yet. I haven't used my scotch bonnet yet, but I just had to show you this. Hey, food can look nice, you know. Anyway, that's my potatoes, onion, sweet potato, garlic, fresh thyme, sweet peppers, carrots all going on in there now i'm gonna just mix that around yeah here i've got the chicken with some onion i'm gonna put that inside here now but i just wanted to show you this first just mix that in there put the rest of the seasoning some scotch some of like that salt and pepper i don't use and then i make my spinach but then i'm gonna put this in the oven first yeah so let me mix up this and then i'll talk to you again one second okay i'm back again this is where I'm at. As you can see, I misjudged it and the pot was far to the bowl. Listen, I'm gonna make it fit, yeah? But I had to season it in here just to make sure that I get old. <laughs> it's nice. I see it at least. Uh, every day I'm ask your father, let me take time with them people. They call me too good, Rastafari. I know. Anyhow, let's stop talking the foolishness out there. Listen, all purpose seasoning, jerk seasoning, the pepper don't matter because the rest of it is going in there now. Show some olive oil on it. Read that. Yeah? Okay. So we're going to make our spinners next, but we're going to put this in here and get everything. But what we're going to do, we're going to make our spinners in here. I never even think about that. Either. You see all that seasoning? We're going to use our flour and just wipe that up. And make our dumpling spinners dumpling same thing little smaller yeah <laughs> stop to this stop before you get <laughs> in more trouble anyhow let me put this in here so yeah okay once you got to this stage now yeah what you gotta do you gotta put some water in it so what i've done got the water yeah i'm gonna pour the water in around the side yeah don't pour it on the chicken because what it's gonna do is gonna wash off all your seasoning yeah so just pour it in on the side about a cup full of glass or whatever just to yeah and then we're gonna cover that put that in the oven so we do that yeah we get our lid which is right here so we'll do that lock that down neatly no Stick that bad boy in the oven 
and later on. Hello, babes, where you do? You want to come around dinner already? <laughs> but like, sore. Anyway, this is too cool. Next thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna add our flour. So we get our flour over here. Get the lid off of it somewhere, somewhere. You see, I'll put it one hand. Hold on. Alright. So we throw about. Yeah, about half a cup of flour, you know, just we rot it. Not sure too much here, I don't have much room in the bowl, but just remember. Yeah, okay, so while that is there, we'll get some salt. I need two hands to do this salt because I got. Yeah, no, no, yeah, put a little salt in it because all we got is that. Yeah, don't go crazy. But something else I was going to say to you, but I can't remember. Let me tell you when I remember, yeah. Okay, here we go. I've made them up. There you go. Just little round dumplings. Spinners, we really, really call it spinners because the shape. You just run it in your hand like that. Two hands together, it's in the middle, and you're rubbing it till you get the shape. Yeah. This, I just get that, squash it up like that. That's done. Yeah. Seasoned up with the thing that was in the pot. So now I'm going to give my chicken in the oven about, I don't know, my. 10 15 minutes, no, about 15 20 minutes. Yeah, then I'm gonna check. Listen, you better subscribe in the car. Any of you get poison, you need somebody to blame, and you can say his granddad, he showed you how to do it. You get me? So, subscribe anyway. Once you give it about some of the juices flow in there, yeah, I'm gonna add this, lock it down again for another 20 minutes. Shouldn't take longer than that for this for cook. It's all good. I'll let you know as we go right changing the plan i've put this lot on so it can start boiling so at least it'll be three quarters of the way cooked so i'm gonna put it back in there now shouldn't take no time yeah okay here's our um dumpling now one thing i want to point out to you maybe you have noticed when i put them in the pot they were smaller yeah now this is plain flour your ordinary flour self-raising flour baking flour that kind of flour that like rise now, if you put a drop of baking powder in it as well it rises so if you're dumping too tough and you want to lighten it up add um use self-raising flour and add baking powder it will lighten it up yeah but it swell it up so you see that you know the size that we start with it probably come up twice the size of that remember that yeah okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna pour the whole nine yards on it because we want the juices yeah that is matter now you see because the seasoning gone off of it you see me always i big on belly you know watch that Probably can shut the pot now, but we're gonna work it out. Yeah. All right. We'll put that over there, sir. Leave that. Turn off everything. We're gonna make the lid go back on this some way, somehow. It's a casserole, remember? So you see your juices. So when you're pouring, make sure you're not pouring over floor. You get me? All right. Okay. There it is. We've got our dumplings in. Now, you want to try and hide as much of those as you can within the gravy, yeah, because you want it to take on that flavor, yeah. If you have problems doing that, yeah, what you do, you call your husband or you call your wife, girlfriend, whoever it may be, and say, how, take, for example, that there we call spinners, yeah, because this is the shape of it, you say to your partner, how do I hide a sausage? <laughs> Hopefully they wish where you... <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> right, okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Come back. Yeah, you see the dish? Yeah, it looked like real cooking anyway, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, it it boil over. But that's okay. Here we go. Yeah, now just took it out of the oven. Whoa, chicken stick to the dish. Let me scrape off them things there. Yeah, all on me, I'll come. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Some of the chicken look kind of don't no, sure. Listen, you get your knife, yeah. See your potato, put it through. See how easy that got through. Carrot, try again. Same thing. See how easy that got through. The chicken, we know the chicken cook our chicken in the too long, if anything. Yeah, but if anything between the joints, trust me, man. Sure, me not bother with that. Dumpling, we know. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna state the obvious place. <laughs> The smell of little Mickey out with pizza. Mega dish. No, mega make it sit down on here for a while because it's hot. So Rastafari. I don't know if you're careful in my car. I'll see you. It's like boiling. Just, 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 just take it out of the oven. 
So I'm going to leave that to sit for about, I don't know, half an hour. No, I don't know, I don't know. Till the next thing, it's when I put it on the fan. Forget about it completely. So I don't know how long it took. up. <laughs> really do feet. Yeah, and that's how I show you how to test it. Yeah, so if you test it, I'm not ready, not ready, put it in again. <laughs> Stop it! We are our best bat in rice is doing what it's doing. We're bringing it to the boil. Keep stirring it, yeah? Right, what are we going to do now? This come to the boil. Yeah? We're gonna put a cover on this. Whack our fire right down to the minimum, minimum you can get, yeah? Whack it down. We're gonna seal that. We're gonna put some foil over it and then put something on lock and make it just steam, yeah? So we take it off the fire for a little bit, make the temperature, everything just drop down. Then we'll put it back on, yeah? Right, there's a couple of minutes of the fire and you can hear all the mad boiling gun, yeah? So let's leave that now 20 minutes or so. The chicken, oh my gosh, my taste piece of the dumpling. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till the tears. This, oh my days, listen. Anyway, I'll go back and watch TV and soon come. There he is. <laughs> okay, stop. Move a quick word for more light drop now. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Granddad. Sophisticated. Yes. <laughs> Jerk chicken and basmati and white rice with veg potato. Oh, no, please watch the sweet potato with a guac. Oh, stop it! Right, people, this is a plant. I'm not sure the bone. See how we are rain. Yeah, see that? This mm, hit and miss. It nice. It's all right. It's it's all right, it's all right. But true say the first time I eat it, you know what I mean? I forget you. Sure. <clears throat> Sorry. May I put some more of this on here so come it's still longer. And the way this this weird is don't look at it, don't look at it. <laughs> weird is this, you see. Oh father, I, mean, I tell you, watch it out. Right, you see like how I got the time on my plate? You don't serve it with time. Yeah, a tree, bush, not eat. Oh, <laughs> it's bitter. See, I really drink too much. 